Hello everybody, uh, this is Bruce Astle again from GC Railfan. Uh, this is another DMU destination blind and numbering tutorial, uh, this time featuring IHH vehicles. Uh, today we'll go through the classes 105, 107 and 117. Uh, I pretty much can't speak for the 303 and other multiple units done by IHH or Iron Horse House. Um, but I assume they'll probably be pretty much on the same sort of system. So let's start with the 105. Uh, when I can actually press buttons and navigate properly. Right, there we go. As usual and as before, we have a set amount of destinations again and uh, numbering facilities. So I assume. There we go, got it. Now, ah, I say I got it right. That might need a bit more thinking out. Right, if we do B2, we get a. Oh, okay. Well, okay, it kind of derps on this one, but um, we, we should be well, alright. Basically, what you can do is, as normal, uh, let's just click off a second. Uh, you click the unit, or click. You have the fly out. You can pin it out, which I recommend. Now, on this unit, it seems to have a little bit with the graphics uh, on the destination blind, interestingly. So, uh, what we've got here is we've got the letters B2 in the centre head code panel under the two windscreens. On these type of displays, these were fitted to the 101s as well uh, in their early years. Um, I think it were fitted to most classes. Um, Definitely the 100s through to the 105s, definite, I know that much. Uh, so there's normally a B1 uh, and you can have a B2. They were normally the main digits that you saw on the front of these things. I have no, do, no clue how they work in real life, but I'll get back to you. Um, but yeah, we have different destinations again. So a bit like before, in the RSC tutorial, um, the destination there was at the beginning of the um, numbering in the in this box here, where uh, it should be highlighted blue. Yeah, in that box there. But the digit you want to change for the destination is just there, and it's between the B2 and the E or regional number of the unit. So let's put in G. What does that bring up? Lots of Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Glossa? Hadfield? Yep. H. I. Darlington. Alright. Ah, it does gloss and Hadfield. L. Lincoln. By where? St. Mark's. Oh, sorry. Lincoln, St. Mark's. Well, hopefully not the communist Marks, but anyway. Uh, Bishop Auckland. So that one's pretty simple. Again, as before. We've got your region number, which you can change. So for this example, I'm going to change it to S, and I'm going to change it to 52089, just for a laugh. So uh, let me just, oops, let me just navigate around, and I'll uh, shimmy it so you can see the unit number when I can find where the unit number is. There we go. So here we have S52089. Uh, there we go, and if I just chop and change it again, just to show you, so we've got Eastern 52034, and kaboom, it's changed back again. This one is really simple. Uh, again, the local icon with the red cross, that is to make it a dead engine, essentially. Right, uh, again, on the wonderful uh, Gramfield route, uh, nice bit of freeware kit that's kicking about, you can still get it. Uh, I will link it in the description, as always. Uh, it will definitely be worth it. Right, as you can tell, I've been playing with this one already. Um, now, on some of the units, I can't remember which one this is, but anyway, uh, let's tell by the door formations. It's not high density. This is the 107. So on the 107, it is exactly, and I mean exactly the same, pretty much, as the RSC uh, Class 101 and Class 111. So we have an A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, O, J, K, L, and so A to Z again at the beginning in this box determines your destination. So we've got A there, which is Air, B, Glasgow, 
uh, Buchanan Street, Hamilton. Now, what does that do? Z is York for some reason, because Y seems to be York. Um, X, Y, Z. And what's X? Hexam. Uh, I've. So let's do G. So I've got a Gervin, and I'm going to change the head code for a bit of Lafkin. And we're going to have 1 Zulu 6 2. Oops, it also helps when you don't press the shift button on your new numerical keys. So again, we can chop and change the unit number on this one. Uh, so let's just shimmy on down to the end of the unit, because it's located here on this one. Uh, then we've got X. What you'll find is on this one it's slightly different. Uh, the SC will be represented by an X. I assume E is for Eastern. Yeah. So if you want a Scottish region number on these DMUs, instead of pressing XC, which will upset the uh, coding, uh, you need a capital X, and you get your SC number there. So let's make it 52045. So you can change it to whatever you want. I'm going to make it the most unrealistic thing on the planet and make it a southern region unit. There you go. Boom. Sorted. So that one's really simple. Uh, back onto the 117, and this one is even simpler, uh, I think. Well, it should be, it's the same as the 108 in terms of the head code box. Uh, and the only reason I have placed the DMU in such a way is because the church bell noise was doing my absolute friggin' nothing. Right, this one's slightly different. Um, it's the same principle, but your unit number comes first, then you have your head code. And then you have your destination letter. So we put B in, we get slough. Shit old oh, cough, shit old cough. And we've got Newbury, all sorts of destinations as usual. Uh, lost, that's quite interesting. Lost it. Uh, shut up, mobile phone. Sorry, that's just vibrated in my pocket. Uh, w, West Ealing. So you can do what you want. Again, we've got your head code. And your running number. So W and the first five digits, as usual, are your running number. Uh, then we've got the two Bravo four nine. This is what is classed as your head code. So let's change it and make it one Bravo six five. There you go, kaboom. And if I want it to be something quite annoying, we can always do this. Uh, but anyway, uh, actually, I've got quite a nice one for that. Uh, yes. Oh, whoops. No. Uh, where was that? Where's that slough one? Oh, well, never mind. Yeah, we get to some heavenly on teams. Um, there you go. That's perfect. And if we go down here, we've got a unit number, Western Region. So, what we do is, again, we chop and change it. So, we've got 51666. And, et voila! We have done it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it on these. Uh, pretty straightforward, apart from doing that, which I didn't mean to do. Oh, I'm still doing it. Okay. Um, but yes, uh, I have got a twenty unit here. But yeah, that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do the uh, destination and numbering options on IHHDMUs. And I'm trying to press the wrong key. One of these days I'll do an outtakes blooper. Um, but yeah, so there you go, ladies and gents. The second part of the tutorial. Soon to follow will be EMUs and other multiple units of varying sorts uh, by different developers. So I hope this has been useful. Please give me a sub and spread the knowledge as usual again. Be greatly appreciated. A lot of people did like the other video. I had quite a lot of feedback. Um, not directly by YouTube, but by friends who use uh, TrainSim. They were very impressed with it. So, thank you very much, and uh, hope you all have a good evening, and carry on driving on Railworks.